So now it's just pretty much a case of reading in that CSV file and repeating this process as many times as we have records or rows in that CSV file. Now you could, if you wish, implement your own CSV reader. I'm not going to. I'm going to use the one that's provided by the PHP League. Installation is super straightforward. Just need to do a composer require as instructed. I've already gone ahead and done that. I've got that in my composer JSON under League CSV. And so I can go ahead and start using this. There's no need to set up a bundle or anything like that because this isn't a bundle. So just say it's a reader and we're going to create from a path. And then we need to give it a path to where our data lives. Well, our data lives here under source at bundle data. It's probably not where you'd want it to live in the real world. But again, this is just a demonstration. So we can use a symphony parameter, the kernel root underscore dir, which gives you the path to the app directory. So if it gives us the path to the app directory, then we need to go up a directory. So in other words, up a directory, which takes us to the root. And then from the root, we're in source data mock data CSV or source app bundle, should I say. And then we need to read that data in. So we're just going to say results is equal to the outcome of reader read as an associative array. Now, if we look at that, that's actually going to give us an iterator. Shouldn't matter too much with the exception of when we want to create ourselves a nice little progress bar as we'll do in a minute. But with those results, what we can do now is do a for each where we say over the results and we'll just call this one a row. Then we'll pull in all of this bit with the exception of the flush, which we've left outside the for each loop. because that's the most expensive part of this, as that's where the actual data is written to the database. And then for each one, we'll just say row. And then it's just whatever the column headings are from the CSV. Which in our case, first name, last name, etc., etc. And again, for the competitor. Okay. Let's just clear off these two tables completely. And then we'll do doctrine schema update force to get those two tables back. And we'll do an import. Everything went well. Need to refresh the entire database there. And you can see our data is imported and we're related. But we've got a slight issue in that for each of these, we've created a new row, even if it's already in there already. Which is probably not what you'd want. So let's have a look at a way of fixing that. So rather than always create a new competitor, what we could do is we could say the competitor is going to be equal to the outcome of this EM get repository from competitor class, find one by, and then we'll say if there's a category with the row of category and a competition with the row of competition. And if you're going to do a find one by like this, then make sure to add an index because this is not a cheap operation. I'll link to more on that in the show notes. But we'll say if we didn't find one, so if null is equal to the outcome of that find one by statement, only then will we go ahead and create the competitor and persist it. And we would probably want to flush here as well. Otherwise, this row just won't exist when we try and loop through. OK, let's check back in the database. We've still got all these rows that we don't want. So let's just delete the whole lot again. Get the tables back and then we'll do the import. Everything went well refresh those tables. You can see this time we've only got the nine rows there. And each one of those is only related to one of those nine rows. And of course you can get fancy. You could say create yourself a little progress bar. And remember this is going to return an iterator so you can't just count the results. You need to use iterator count. And then whenever we've done the loop we need to advance it by one. And then finally, at the end, we want to progress finish. Uh, let's give it a shot again. This time we got ourselves a nice little bar. Probably got a bunch of duplicates in there now, but hopefully not in the competitor table. So there you go, a simplistic, somewhat naive approach. But if you split these problems down, they become a lot easier to work with. There's a bunch of ways that you could improve on this code. As I said, for example, just looking at this section where you would want to have an index on and you would probably want to extract all of this logic out into its own service and whatnot. But hopefully this answers your question. If not, please feel free to leave any questions, comments or feedback in the section below. Thank you very much for watching.